Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I'm just going to do a quick introduction to this video just to explain why I think this is my ultimate Claire Compares. Um, and it's taken a bit of a collaborative effort for this one. When I first started watching YouTube videos, nail polish videos, a few years ago, um, I thought, what's all this hoo-ha, this hullabaloo hype about Pacific Blue? Everyone's talking about it and people are talking about um, still being able to find it or not being able to. It's just blue. It's a blue nail polish. What's what's the big deal? And the more I watched other people's videos, the more I realised, OK, there is maybe something a bit special to this particular polish. And I know it's been discontinued. It's not available anymore, although uh, Debbie... Sister Chic did actually find um, a, an OG, an original Pacific Blue recently, I think in her, in her local Rite Aid. Um, yeah, and I've been on a bit of a quest because in my mind, when I look at Pacific Blue on other people's videos, obviously I've not got it. It's not available. I don't think it's ever been available in the UK. Um, but I can't help thinking that it really reminds me of a Barry M that we have here called Damson. It's just been a real curiosity of mine. Anyway, I got some nail mail this week, which I haven't shown you yet, but this was something that Debbie said she was going to send me a book, and she did. She actually sent me Animal Farm, which I read. I read this when I was at school. Um, it's great. It's a brilliant read. But inside... She sent me two um, nail design stickers, which I've, and I've, again, I've never really used. I've used the vinyls, but not the stickers. So I was like really excited about being able to do half moons and chevrons and things like that. And then I was packing everything away and I saw there was a strip of bubble wrap. And I thought, what's this? Because I had bubble wrap everywhere because I'm still packing and wrapping de-stash nail polishes. Anyway, I picked it up and what fell out of the bubble wrap was this. This is a swatch of the OG Pacific Blue. I could not believe it. I was like, I was literally dancing because I thought, finally, 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 I will be able to do a comparison, a swatch comparison. So that's the history behind this particular comparison. Let's get on with it. So look what else arrived today. <laughs> this this came from Hong Kong and it's a pack of swatches. So the nail polish Illuminati have sent me some swatch wheels um, by way of downtown Kowloon. <laughs> I actually did a bit of research and it was Nika who sent them to me. So thank you, Nika. Let's get on with the swatching here. We've got a little bit of daylight left. So as you can see, here is the OG, the original Pacific Blue. I'm going to start with Julie G. So I may pick the right one up. This is Julie G Cabana Boy. And what I've done, because um, Debbie sent me the swatch wheel, the swatch stick, sorry, um, the, the white swatch stick I thought I'd put a white base under just to be certain so that's the Julie G oh, and then I'm going to go with the NYC next this uh, the reason that I'm including this in here um, well the reason I'm, I'm including the Julie G is because Debbie said in her message that it was a pretty um, close dupe for Pacific Blue and in a Saturday Swatch Fest a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I remember seeing Phoebe, Phoebe Moon, swatch this Staten Island Blue, which she said was comparable to Pacific Blue. And I thought, well, I've got that one as well. So let's throw this one in. I mean, I think you can tell that all of them have that whiteness to them. So that's... Staten Island Blue and then finally which has been, been this is satisfying my curiosity for of years um, this is Barry M 
damson and this bottle is probably probably down to about here um, I've always loved this shade and if it if I can determine that this could be the UK's version of Pacific Blue then I'm happy but mainly it was just for curiosity from here it looks to me like the Julie G is maybe a little bit closer but I'm going to let them dry and then we can have a closer inspection so there they are with the light off here they are with the lamp on and you can tell also more detective work that I'm left-handed and Debbie's right-handed <laughs> am I right Debbie <laughs> okay let's bring these up a little bit closer so we have that's the Pacific blue underneath and that is the Barry M Damson okay very close but to me the Barry M is just a little bit brighter just a little bit put them next to each other they're still not quite dry yeah there you can see the difference so Pacific Blue Damson turn the light off they are more similar in daylight but still the Pacific Blue is a little bit more purple so let's introduce the Julie G so here's the Julie G right okay definitely more comparable and there's a I think that whoa come on light <laughs> this isn't helping at all there we go that's in daylight the three of them look very close but I think Cabana Boy oh. tell me what you think I don't know Cabana Boy there looks more comparable I'm trying to capture this in lots of different lights and then the NYC so this is Staten Island Blue So there we go, there's the Staten Island Blue. <clears throat> they are all very similar, very, very similar. I would say the Staten Island Blue next to Pacific Blue. It's a little bit brighter. It's definitely a drop more Wow, actually they are very, very close. So that's the NYC. Are these two the closest? Let's bring the others back again. So that's Julie G. Oh, this is playing tricks with my mind. And here is the Barry M. I'll put Barry M on the other side. In some lights they all look exactly the same but from that angle there I would say Julie G and Pacific Blue are the closest. So to conclude I would say that here's the Pacific Blue. I would say that the Julie G is probably the closest but it's slightly darker I would say that the Barry M and the NYC are complete dupes for each other. If anything, the NYC is a little bit brighter, a little bit paler. But yes, that's the uh, that's my conclusion. They're not dupes. These two are dupes for each other, definitely. This one is the closest, but slightly darker.
Yeah. <laughs> Swap them around, that's the OG. This one is slightly darker. Yeah, but that has satisfied a curiosity that I, I've had for about two, three years. Is Barry M a dupe for Pacific Blue? And it's not. It's close, but no cigar. <laughs> I'm still going to consider it the UK's version of Pacific Blue. But yeah, that's... Uh, I'm happy that I've been able to do this comparison. So thanks, Debbie, for your help. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.